We are back with another episode of the East Carolina Pirates Road to Glory. I've taken a little bit of a break recording as I mass recorded a bunch of um, episodes. And I am just going to take a quick second and re-familiarize myself with what we are doing. So, I did take a quick peek at this before I started recording, but I also wanted to have it in the episode so we could all go over it together. So again, Eddie Jackson, a huge, huge target. We have to get him. I think it is going to go into the offseason unless... His visit with North Carolina, week 10, are we in week 10? I don't believe so. Okay, so that's next week. So, <clears throat> I kind of worry that he's going to really do well at his uh, visit in Chapel Hill, and we may have to be okay with losing him. Tight end, Mark Carter, you know, of course we want... A good player there and we've got some athletes that we are taking a good bit of um, points away from the second place teams we are 500 points behind on Mason I'm not sure if the points have already gone into him I guess that's bad on me bad YouTuber um, not knowing that um, so we will go ahead and jump into the game at the Blazers and sim the week I believe the next week is a not a buy another bad YouTuber good job bad Ertle the Turtle here um, so we have FAU Tulsa Tulane FIU Southern Miss and then we are done with season two so the back half after UAB is very manageable to get some W's but we are not bad sitting at 500 I really don't think we're going to win this game uh, we will take a look at what the game preview looks like and Lee Corso of course taking the favorite number four UAB um, yeah and why wouldn't you Recording, recording the right screen. Good job. All right, so let's jump into the game. We will go with the icy whites, but we will actually use the black helmet. I didn't realize we only had two helmets. Interesting. Okay, so black helmets. Let's look to see if we can steal a win from the 6-0 number four UAB Blazers. And as you see their stats for the season, I mean, if you ask me, they've all but earned their number four ranking. Now, I don't know if they've been truly tested. They do have a prospect visiting. It's a good thing that their halfback is hurt. Mm hmm. That could do well for us. We're going to look to keep getting the ball to Stone. Hopkins we need to make sure we take care of the ball. And a channel favorite in McMillan, also one of the top players. So, let's get into it. Big game. Looking for the upset. Can we make it happen? We start poorly, <laughs> losing the coin toss. Um, let's go ahead. Uh -huh, yep, yep, yep. And we Still will kick this. Or we'll not kick this one away. We will receive it getting ahead of myself um we've been having good success bringing the ball out of the back of the end zone so let's see if we can get some blocks we do stone gonna turn the corner stone up to the 31 35 yard return on the play so we will go with the conservative tempo as usual i don't think we are good enough to be getting in a track meet with anybody that we play so we definitely want to try to control the clock as the safety is going to look to come down and that's going to change our pitch, man. And we're starting off good. We're starting off good. I didn't like that I kept changing the pitch, man. I wanted to make sure I made the right read. And doesn't matter. I made the wrong one because we didn't snap the freaking ball. 
So we will go off of the triple option. We will go with the read option. We will look to use our speed. We're going to get a nice little chip block from the tackle, and we will earn the five yards back we lost from the delay of game. We will go five wide here. Have Stone go over the middle. We will have Wise on the out route. I think we're just going to go. Oh, no, he turned up field. Why'd you turn up field? Oh, boy. Crushing it. He literally was sitting. I saw him, stopped, threw, and then he decided to run. So we'll look for Wise on a halfback angle here. And we're going to try and give him enough spaces. Wise is going to run him over. That's a 14-yard catch and a conversion on third and 10. We do have speed at the wide receiver position. It is not actually going to our speed player. If we can flip this, we can. We'll give it to Lacey. Also, not a super speed guy. All right, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna take time out. Sometimes the conservative look does not really go in your favor when you're trying to read the defense and make changes. But we will give it to Hopkins, and Hopkins is gonna have some space. Hopkins will get an 11 yard gain. Correction. Well, okay. Just kidding. Said 12. PA guy said 11. I thought it was 11. I have to trust my instincts here. We will go ahead and give the ball to Wise here on the halfback. Wise is going to get some room, and he'll get a 13? 13? Yeah, good job. Math is hard. 13-yard gain. Looks like we're having a lot of success running the football. And when we do that, we keep doing it. And we're going to cut up. Ah, we just couldn't get through the hole between the guard and the center. Kind of bounced off the guard. And we will go with the trap play. As you know, this is one of my favorite runs. I'm going to get the block here. Wise is going to have some space. Break a tackle in two. He'll get a 10-yard gain. Seven plays, 48 yards, and we are cracking down on three, four minutes. Get some space here. Hopkins going to run six-yard gain. He's trying to decide if I should cut it out or cut it up, and I was talking, and, you know, you know how that goes. And we will give the ball here to channel favorite Harris. And Harris is going to get some space, and he can't break that one. Harris has 160 yards on the season. Not what he had last year, but still not bad. So we're going to give him the ball again. And Harris is going to squeak through and get two yards. Just kidding. He's going to get four. We're crushing it. We're going to audible out of the option, and we're just going to go straight on the halfback. We're not going to get a block. Oh, goodness. Why? Well, stopped in the backfield for a one-yard loss. Maybe the option was the play there. Okay, so we'll have trips to the right, and we'll have an option here. They're not going to read it. We're going to break away, and that's going to be a touchdown for your Pirates. Hopkins on the eight-yard run. I love the option with the trips receivers to the right because if you get them committing to the halfback, the corners are actually just chasing the wide receivers and it just gives you so much room. The extra point is up and good and the East Carolina Pirates take a 7-0 lead with two minutes left in the first quarter. Now the big ask, can we stop the Blazers on offense and Dylan Hopkins looks to make sure that we can't do it as he had 241 yards through the air last game with a couple of touchdowns 
we'll come out in the cover two look first. Um, we definitely don't want to be getting beat over the middle, so it's going to be my job to make sure we don't, as we look like we're going to. McKnight is not going to be able to force an incompletion as Ryan Davis will get a 21-yard reception. We just have to we just have to play our game. We have to understand this is a better team than us. If we just play we play mistake-free football, as Nelson is gonna make the tackle, and McBride is gonna get a five-yard gain. I'm pretty sure I thought he was hurt. Hmm. Lucky us, seems like he's just fine. So we just have to play mistake-free football, both sides of the ball. If we get beat, you know, we get beat. And they're going to run the halfback draw. McKnight will not be able to bring him down. It looks like Boone was in on the tackle. We just have to play our brand of defense. And, we, like I said, we have if we get beat, we get beat. You know, we're, they're better than us. There's only so much we can do as Hargrove is going to meet McBride at the point of the catch. And McBride will carry him for an eight-yard gain. We will look to dial up a little bit of pressure here just to try and force a couple mistakes. Maybe we get lucky. I'm going to track the running back here as Davis is going to catch it. Terry won't be able to bring him down. Boone's not going to have the speed to cut off the angle. And Ryan Davis will have a UAB Blazers touchdown after a 31-yard reception. And, you know, that's, that's where you get, you're frustrated a little bit because you make the tackle, you played the right defense, but you just didn't wrap up. And Studio Update has North Carolina upsetting number five, Georgia Tech. The ACC looking strong this year. We're going to have Lacey Stone seems to want to take it out. He's right in front of him. And Lacey will get a 22-yard return. And we will keep the ball on the ground. We're going to have the read. We're going to have the lead block. And we're going to have the extra block. Hopkins is going to get an 11-yard gain. It's not bad. Could have just held our blocks a little longer. We might have been able to have big play right there. So they're finally going to play the quarterback, and Wise is going to have some space. And I should have cut it to the right there. Still going to get the first down. It's not bad. Not bad at all. You know what's funny is I play the uh, Roadrunners uh, career. Or career. <laughs> Roadrunners Dynasty on Twitch. Twitch.tv, Earl the Turtle. Come check us out. But, a little self-advertisement there, um, but our offensive line, as low-rated as they are, they seem to make way better blocks in the run than even my Roadrunners block. And I'd say that, and East is not going to get anywhere. He will fight to not lose any yards, but he will be hitting the backfield. And we'll try the triple option. But, yeah, it's just so weird that, like, these guys can actually block. And Harris is going to have a little bit of space. Harris will get a three-yard gain. Setting up our first, or no, our second. We did have a third and ten. Setting up our, uh, setting up our second tough third down. And we'll have Stone to the far side of the field. Depending what hat. Actually, you know what? Let's audible East. We're going to have East over the middle. East is going to fight... And he'll get an eight-yard gain. I didn't want to even look at the curl routes. Because I saw the nickel or the outside linebacker, whoever that was, blitzing. And I knew we would have enough space to get the ball to East. We're going to look to the play action here. And we're going to get beat. We're going to find a little bit of space. And duck out of bounds before the big hit. And Kevin Hopkins will scramble for nine. I just, I want to throw the ball on the run, but it's just not viable with Hopkins. It's not, 
Um, the Roadrunners quarterback, he can do it for the most part. And Hopkins is going to get a first down. But um, Hopkins just isn't, isn't quite as good of a passer. And I think I was getting so used to playing the Roadrunners franchise that I kind of just bled them together and thought I could do the same things as we're going to, oh, not make the right read there. He was coming down on the quarterback. I think he just had the angle to cover them both. If we come here and look at the replay, eh, I mean, maybe not. Maybe I just prematurely got rid of it. We will look for Stone over the middle. It looks like the linebackers are coming down, and they are. We're going to go ahead and throw it to Stone over the top, and Stone will have a big catch, 20 yards. Those linebackers were committing hard to the run. And it's not that I blame him. We are hardly throwing the ball. We will go with a halfback dive. We're going to kick it out. Wise is going to have a good cut. And he will fight for a seven-yard game. Bobby Wise having a great game so far. I mean, honestly, the whole team having a great game so far. Uh, we will look to do a little misdirection. Maybe hold the linebackers just a second. And doesn't really work, but Wise will get two yards. That linebacker did not respect the jet sweep at all. And we will come out. Trips to the right. And see if we can't get this read option to work for us again. And Harris is going to have a touchdown. Harris is first touchdown of the season. We are playing so much better. I think I just needed a little bit of a break. Um, I, you know, I was just, I was getting so frustrated. And I was doing stupid plays. I really was. Like, I was causing unnecessary turnovers and making it that much harder for us as Hickman's going to be in on the tackle. So, I mean... Yes, it's my fault, but, like, the team is still bad. But I just kind of got away from what makes us good. As we're going to track the quarterback here. Nelson is going to make the tackle. Hopkins on a seven-yard gain. I wanted to hit stick him so bad, but I, I knew you, you hit stick, you're going to miss, and then you're going to give up big yards. Don't do it. Yeah, Nelson all the way out wide. That's a good play. Oh, my goodness. Nelson to make the tackle. Okay, just kidding. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that was that was rough. And then it switched me on to the wrong player, and I dove. So that could have been really, really bad. And UAB will come out shotgun right Running back to the right. They're going to do the option. We're going to track it with Nelson. Nelson's going to make a great play on McBride. To keep him to a five-yard gain. We need to try and somehow get points before the half. We're going to cover the running back here. And McKinney is going to make a big stop. I mean, yes, I know that's that's my zone. I think we ran a, ran a middle linebacker blitz, but I saw the running back kind of swing out to the left. So we will also look to not blitz here. It's going to be a screen. We're going to read it with Nelson. Nelson's going to make a huge play and a big stop. Fourth and seven. We're going to go ahead and call a timeout. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have done that. They're going to go for this. Fourth and seven. It's going to be another screen. We're going to read it. Smith is going to make the tackle. And that's a turnover on downs. I held my breath there because we got pushed in the back by the linemen. But this is, this is big. This is big. We have a chance. 
to make this a two possession game we just can't we can't do anything stupid we're gonna look to Harris out of the backfield Harris is gonna have some space get out to the boundary line Harris Harris will get a 10 yard gain and go out of bounds to stop the clock they were coming all down for the run We get a good block. Wise is going to get out. We'll rush to the line after a five-yard gain. All right, all right. Let's snap the ball. Come on. And Hopkins is going to have some space. Hopkins is going to take a slide. And we'll just go ahead and call a timeout. Oh, my God. That was our last timeout. Oh no! I forgot we burned a timeout in the first drive. Sorry, sorry. Right, right. I see Stone there. I'm gonna pitch it to him. We're gonna get to the line. We are going to not spike it apparently. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Calm and collective. Oh no. Okay. Thankfully, Stone dropped that. Um, huh. Do we take the points here? Fifty-one yarder. Do we think we have a 51 yarder? Let's check here. 51 yarder. This is the freshman. Let's see. I mean, this is going to be a bomb. And this is where taking a little bit of a break is rough. Because I want to say I remember being just short. Or not, not just short, but like barely able to get off a um, a 47 yarder we're gonna have the ball to east east is gonna make a cut east will get the first down I'm gonna have to kick this fast as we are going to just barely make it. What a play. And what a conversion by the Pirates to send it to 17-7 to at half. And we will kick the ball off. I really thought we were just barely going to scrape that one past the outside of the post. But a great kick nonetheless. And the Blazers will take a touchback on the kick still recording still recording the right screen yay me so play our game of football trips to the left three-man front for us it's gonna be a halfback draw and mcknight is gonna hold him up and make a big stop three yard gain let's not get ahead of ourselves just it's zero 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 zero. All right, come on, turtle. Zero zero. We're gonna run the ball here, and McKnight is gonna be run over. But boom, we'll finish the tackle, but not before McBride gets a gain of eleven. I'm okay with them taking some time off the clock. They're going to come out of shotgun, running back to the right. We will pull out of our blitz here. And he's going to be stopped in the backfield by Hickman. I think the right tackle should be more credited with that. But Hickman with the penetration to set up a loss of four. And again, we are the blitzing linebacker. But I will pull out if it's not a run. And it's going to be a halfback draw. Nelson's going to read it right. Wilson's going to be in on the stop. And Wilson 
will stop McBride, but not before he gets a gain of six. So this is third and eight here. Big down. Big down. Trips to the right. And he's going to throw it right over Boone. And Boone will finally bring down Ryan Davis after a 40-yard game. That's just, that's good play. I mean, we, we can't be mad about that. We can't be mad about that. Sure, it's unfortunate. Of course, you want to make the stop. But that was a good play. Trips to the left. They're going to run the read option, or speed option, I should say. Sorry. And Hopkins will be in the backfield to stop him for a three-yard loss. Our defense is playing incredible. Absolutely incredible. We're going to slot out here to cover the flat. The running back's going to go ahead and run. Terry's going to make the... No, he's not. Boo! will finish him off. Terry was about to get thrown to the ground. And Hopkins a little slow to get up and... I I don't blame him. That was a heck of a hit by Boone. You know what? We'll sell out for the run to the middle. It's going to be play action here. We're going to cover the running back. And Wilson is just, I don't know what Wilson was doing there. But Hopkins will find the end zone. And that will be a touchdown for the Blazers. Pending the point after, it is 17-14. And it is up and good. That does cut the lead to three. Got to get a touchdown here. We'll bring it out with Stone. Okay, we're not going to get the side. But Stone will bring it out for a 25-yard return. We do need to go to the conservative look again. And we need to look to take off as much clock this drive as we can come out trips to the right we get some good blocks Bobby Wise is going to lower his shoulder and get the first down come on come on boys and Wise is going to make a good cut and he will get only two. Wasn't much there. We'll look to throw it behind the blitzing linebackers. I think they're going to be coming down. Yep, they're showing blitz. We just have to make sure they commit to it. And they're not going to. We're going to have Harris out of the back. Harris is going to lower his shoulder. And Harris will have a two-yard game. It's really where you miss electric speed you really want electric speed there uh, we will give it to wise we're going to audible out we're going to send it to Jones Jones just can't get it going god go upfield dude we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make a risky we're gonna see what they come out in. We're gonna see what they come out in. Three down linemen. I like it. I think we're gonna go for it. Oh my god! I don't know if it was a good call. And McBride, we stopped for an eight yard gain on the counter. Ugh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, if we make them, if we stop them here, we let them take some clock off. Nelson's just not fast enough. Wilson's going to dive the wrong way. McKinney will finally bring down the quarterback. Yes, that's the defensive tackle saving a touchdown. Oh, boy. Let's bring the pressure here. 
I mean, I don't dislike the play of going for it. Maybe the play call wasn't great. As they're going to get a touchdown, McBride will get a four-yard gain for six points. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's better to just run a straight inside zone there. Oh. Zero, zero game. Just the attitude we're going to have to have. We're going to bring this one out. Come on, give me the outside block. Thank you. Stone is going to get up to the 30. Kicked out at about the 33-yard line. We haven't run the triple option. We were going to on the very first play of the drive. As we're going to have some space here. Hopkins is going to get a 13-yard gain. Beanie's out here breakdancing. He's happy. I'm happy. Let's go ahead and run the halfback screen. See if we can't get some blockers out. So we're going to get some blockers here. Wise is going to cut up field. And he's going to put the ball on the ground. But it's going to fall right to. Who is that? Come on. Show me your back. <laughs> oh, my God. I think it's the backup tight end. That's why I don't know his name. Oh, what a terrible throw! What are you doing? Hopkins! I mean, what the heck was that? Oh my goodness. Lacey had a step. And Hopkins overthrew him by five freaking yards. They're going to do a quick screen here. Price has to make a tackle. McMillan's going to put a big hit down. Oh, my goodness gracious. They're going to come out trips to the left. And Nelson's going to be blocked. Boone is going to make a big hit. We'll spy the quarterback here. I know he likes to scramble. We are going to be responsible for the whole right flat. And good thing on the spy is Nelson is eventually going to finish the tackle and keep Hopkins to a four-yard scramble. Oh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Shotgun formation for the Blazers. They're going to do a read option. We're going to get blocked. McKnight is going to miss the tackle. And Nelson will eventually bring him down from behind. Oh, Hopkins. You and me both just lost us this game. As Nelson, okay, not going to get the tackle animation. As Boone is going to not make the tackle. Wilson's not going to be able to wrap up. McKnight will knock him out of bounds at the one-yard line. We have to tackle. You have to make the tackle. Oh, my goodness. You guys are killing me. And Boone is not going to make the tackle, and that's going to be a touchdown for the Blazers. Pinning the extra point, this will be a 11-point lead. Studio update. We have Tulsa and Tulane in in-conference battle, but not one that I care too much about, if I'm honest. And it's going to be a Deep kick, but we're going to bring this one out. Lacey is going to be tackled from behind. Yeah, that might have been my fault running too close to him. I could have gone right. Oh, 
Oh, boy. Don't let it fall apart. Don't let it fall apart. Okay. And we didn't see the corner, and luckily we don't get punished for it. I'll set up second and 14. Throw it away. Throw it away. I'm clicking. I'm clicking the freaking stick. Oh, my God. God bless you, Hopkins. As Tucker will make the tackle. And this game is all but over. I don't... Yeah, our defense made one stop right before the half. And we had a huge drive to knock in three. And then it's just been downhill from there. It's going to be a halfback draw. We're going to get absolutely pushed out of the play. Pierce... We'll make the tackle. <clears throat> oi, 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 oi. That's frustrating. I thought we were going to have a chance. Gonna come on the blitz. Wilson, a free runner. Big sack. Loss of six. Set up third and six. Come out shotgun trips to the left. They love their trips. And they're going to throw it away as Wilson again on the pressure. Oh, too little, too late, I'm afraid. Hopefully he doesn't pin us deep. Yeah, we're just going to let that one go. And that'll be into the back of the end zone for a touchback we have to throw the ball we have to throw the ball we're not going to have anything Hopkins is going to take off Hopkins is going to break a tackle and then get crushed 12 yard gain he's going to feel that tomorrow if he doesn't already Kevin Hopkins, 13 rushes, 89 yards. Ah, Jones was the lucky fumble recoverer. I see you. I don't trust Hopkins right now. Hopkins is going to scramble for another 12-yard gain. Oh, I have no confidence in Hopkins' throwing ability after watching him throw it four yards past Lacey. See, we do have press coverage on the outside. We'll see if Stone can beat his man. Hopkins is going to get the edge. He's going to get out. He'll scramble for two. I just uh, have no freaking faith in him. And I can't make throws when I don't have faith. I have to have faith. Wise is going to take forever to get up and going. He's going to lose a yard, and that's going to set up third and nine. So, you know, if we didn't have throwing issues before, we sure are going to now. Okay, that was definitely not the play I picked at all. And Lacey is going to be caught up, but he's going to break away from his man. And Nate Lacey will make a catch 14 yards. He was locked up at the line of scrimmage, but then it ended up fighting his way past and got good separation. I might have uh, initially counted him out too soon. So they're going to rush. Wise is going to get a nine-yard gain. I wanted to say more, but I had to focus and make sure I made the right read. Um, we're going to come out here with the trips to the left. We will look for Stone streaking to the right. The safeties are really close to the box. And they're not going to do it. And we're going to get tackled from behind. I think Hopkins is just gassed. Can I hot route? Please. We're going to have Summers. And Summers is going to get hit after a nine-yard gain. 
I mean, you say, why are you not driving? Why are you not going fast? Why are you not playing quicks? Quick uh, offense. Uh, there's just not a chance. Good throw. No. I mean, uh, it needed to be a little far farther in front of him, but, uh, you know, not going to take away a great play from the defensive back. Like I said, I mean, these guys are just better than us. But we're, we're, we're playing good. If we play this good against everybody, we're going to throw this, and Calhoun's going to run. I hate that. I absolutely hate that animation. You are a college freaking receiver. Let the ball come to you. Do not run to it. Like, what? that doesn't even make sense. As Johnson's going to find himself into the game. And Johnson's going to make a big catch. And we will go for it, whatever. We'll look for Stone here. I mean, we'll look for whoever's open, but Stone and... Or actually, we're going to find Lacey. Lacey with a big catch. And Lacey is going to get a first down there. So we will take it off the conservative and see if we can't get one more touchdown just for um i don't know for good feeling i guess you could say and hopkins is gonna have a lot of space hopkins just dead tired we're gonna call a timeout uh yeah we're not going to throw the ball we could do a screen no no we're not going to I mean, I don't like the triple option here either. We're just going to give it to Wise. Holy crap, they are loading the line. And Wise is going to get met at the hole. And he will get two yards. That's going to set up first and goal. You know what? We'll give this one to Harris. Harris is going to have to fight hard. They're stacked on the line. Harris is going to cut it up, and Harris will be short. We will go ahead and call another timeout. We'll go with the halfback slam here. They are all on the line. Come on, fight. Wise is going to get a touchdown. And did that just say injury update? Did I just snap the ball and not realize who is that quarterback? He is back spasms. We will just keep Garcia in. And that is 24-30 UAB. I'm going to look like a daggum fool if we get this onside kick, which I haven't done one of these in a very long time. And I might have just kicked that way too hard. We just got the freaking football? Are you kidding me? Well. Oh no, East intercepted but out of bounds. I forgot we don't have our quarterback. Oh God. May the Lord have mercy on my soul, please. I'm gonna hot route the tight end. And that's a sack. We will call our last timeout. We need a playmaker. Throw it up for Stone, not even going to get a catching animation, and that is all but going to be the game. Oh, man. Well, that teaches me to not have faith in the onside kick.
Well, that will be the end of the game. ESPN Classic. Man, I really wish that I did that differently. I didn't really think we were going to have a chance at the onside kick. I mean, we had we had all the opportunity to win that game. We really did. We shot ourselves in the foot in the wrong play call for fourth down. I mean, if you call it and it works, you're a genius. If you call it and you don't get it, you're an idiot. How dare you call that play? Uh, why didn't you punt it away? You know, whatever, 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 whatever. And around the league, we have Notre Dame, Notre Dame, Notre Dame upsetting number 16, Arizona State. TCU upsetting, upsetting number 25, Texas. The Terps fall to Boston College, 35-16. A lot of upsets today. We were, I guess it was in the cards for us to up, uh, upset as Alabama will beat Tennessee. Um, oh, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. We had every opportunity to win. We didn't. We made some bad play calls. We made some bad plays. Um, the interception to that was thrown five yards in front of Lacey, that's, that's a tough one. Uh, that one frustrated me. Um, Hopkins not throwing away the ball and taking the safety, that one frustrated me. Obviously, if you, if you couldn't tell. Um, that's okay. We just need to take that momentum. We need to take how hard we played that game. And if we play every game for the rest of the season that hard, um, that should guarantee us some wins because the teams we are playing are not quite as good as UAB. As Donnie Richardson is going to commit to the team, and uh, we did lose Robbie Smith. He did commit to Old Dominion. That's a, that's a tough one, but that's going to free up some recruiting points. Um, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So we, we're going to get him. Arizona make, or I say Arizona. Arkansas making up a lot of ground there. Michigan making up a lot of ground there. Ooh, everybody's making up ground unless we jumped ahead on that one. Still down. We did take the lead on the punter, Nick Perez. We do have the lead on John Russ. Um, we may have to back out of RJ. I mean, these, these, this is going to be a, a tough season of recruiting. We will put 500 points into this man, Stanley. Uh, we are down 1,000 points on him. 400 points on this guy. I think we're going to back out of... Where is he? Where is the strong safety? Yeah, we're going to back out of him. We'll look at this guy. He's a quarterback. Don't want a quarterback per se. Don't need a receiver. Don't want him. He looks decent. Humming and hawing, humming and hawing. Um, what is this guy? 6'2", 225. Linebacker, maybe? Tight end. Off shedding. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, linebacker or some sort of something yeah no wonder yeah, he plays football he's gonna be something and we do have a better shot on this defensive end um, so we will go after him offer him a scholarship bump him up in the board and we did um, Let's see, we did lose first place into Eddie Jackson, and I think he's going to commit. 
Yeah, I think he's going to commit after this week because this week is um, his visit to um, North Carolina. So we'll add you the extra 450. Um, so we'll end it here. If you've made it this far, I appreciate it. Leave a like, leave a comment. Um, subscribe if you're new and if you're new start the series at the beginning I know you've got a lot of spoilers as we are almost through season two but um, I appreciate it I appreciate I appreciate all I appreciate I appreciate each and every single one of you for watching the series and have making it have had have have had made it this far words are hard <laughs> but anyways like comment subscribe not just for me do it for every youtuber and every youtube video you watch and i'll see you in the next one peace